Did Ukraine really launch an investigation into former U.S. President Obama? Did the coronavirus come from Ukraine? And is the EU carving up Ukraine? This information never stops, but neither do we. And this is Stop Fake, the place where we set the record straight on fakes about Ukraine. So let's get to it. Pro-Kremlin publications Lenta.ru, Ukraina.ru, and others announced on January the 30th that Ukraine's National Anti-Corruption Bureau, the NABU, has launched an investigation against former U.S. President Barack Obama. The source for this fake claim is Renat Kuzmin. He used to be a deputy prosecutor general in the disgraced and ousted government of Viktor Yanukovych, but today Kuzmin is a member of parliament from the pro-Russian opposition platform for life. On his Facebook page, Kuzmin wrote that the investigation is about the theft and laundering of international financial assistance funds stolen by former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko together with former President of the United States Barack Obama. Now, to add a veneer of official support for his claim, Kuzmin presents a response from the National Anti-Corruption Bureau, or NABU, to his request. The NABU response refers to Ukrainian Criminal Code Article 209 concerning the laundering of illegally obtained income. President Poroshenko and, quote, unidentified persons from his circles are mentioned in the letter. In his Facebook post, Kuzmin claims the letter is a response to his party's request that the facts presented by Trump's lawyer Rudolf Giuliani about corruption in Ukraine be investigated. Now, how Kuzmin concluded that the unidentified person in Nabu's letter is Barack Obama and why he would be in Poroshenko's inner circle remains a mystery. It's patently obvious that Nabu did not mention anyone specifically in their letter, and Lenta.ru certainly must have seen that too, but this didn't stop them from making this bizarre conclusion about Obama and spreading the fake as a news story. Lenta.ru went even further with their fake than Kuzmin did and wrote that former Vice President Joe Biden figures in this investigation. Well, we asked Nabu about these claims, and this was their response. Firstly, Ukrainian law states that a case cannot be opened against a person but into the offense committed. This is the basis on which we work. Therefore, it is incorrect to say that we have opened a case against someone personally. Secondly, if you carefully read the specific NABU legislation, it indicates that our powers extend only to citizens of Ukraine, Ukrainian top officials, and in no way to the presidents of another country. Ukraine has not opened a case against either former President Obama or his then Vice President Joe Biden. A recent independent fact-checking site found that the site strana.ua, a notorious source of fake news and coincidentally very pro-Russian, is in the top five least truthful media outlets. On January the 27th, strana.ua announced that the Chinese coronavirus strain has been identified in Ukraine. Strana's fake story was immediately picked up by Russian RT. Ukrainian media also raised a panic, but after a while, most sites rushed to edit their earlier posts, removing phrases such as deadly Chinese virus in Ukraine and adopting a more neutral, but nevertheless, distorted tone. This fake story is based on a Ministry of Health Kiev Laboratory Center report on the epidemiological situation in Ukraine. According to the report, the rate of influenza and acute respiratory infections in Ukraine has increased by 19% compared to the previous week. Of the 12 positive flu samples the laboratory obtained, one tested positive for the coronavirus. However, the laboratory does not say that this is the same strain as the one currently spreading in China. Regardless, this didn't prevent journalists from raising a false alarm and generally scaring the public. The Cave Laboratory has issued a statement pointing out that the coronavirus found in the capital has nothing to do with the deadly Chinese strain. The coronavirus identified in the report has been circulating in Ukraine for decades, according to the laboratory, and it brings on mild or moderate upper respiratory tract illness. The Chinese coronavirus has not been found in Ukraine, the laboratory assured, and urged Ukrainians not to panic because of fake stories claiming otherwise. According to various sources, several dozen strains of the coronavirus have been recorded in the world, seven of which present varying degrees of danger to humans. First and foremost, these types of viruses bring on respiratory illness. The World Health Organization has declared the new coronavirus a global emergency. Scores of Russian media announced this week that Ukraine is being broken up and passed out bit by bit. 
This was done in reaction to the news that Ukraine's infrastructure ministry and Germany's state rail service Deutsche Bahn signed a memorandum of understanding regarding the development of Ukrzaliznitsya, Ukraine's national rail system. Remember, Russian disinformation regularly spreads fakes about economic catastrophe as Ukraine continues its integration with Europe. Russian media claim that Ukrzaliznitsya has fallen under the hammer and that Ukraine has no sovereignty as earlier it would never have occurred to anyone to hand over entire industries to foreign control. Ukraine is already colonized by the West, Russian media declared, and Western partners only want Ukrainian companies to pump money out of them. Now, during this year's World Economic Forum in Davos, Ukrainian Prime Minister Oleksiy Honchoruk announced that the two national railway operators, Ukraine's Ukrzaliznitsya and Germany's Deutsche Bahn, would explore possibilities of establishing a strategic partnership. The cooperation between the two entities is aimed at modernizing and improving Ukraine's rail system and is an example of continuing to implement the best European practices as well as improving the performance of Ukrzaliznitsya in accordance with European environmental standards. The parties also intend to implement European legislation norms and EU directives related to railway operations. According to Prime Minister Honchuruk, Ukrzaliznitsya will not be sold or leased. The reality is that German experts will be advisors in the company's reorganization. The Ukrainian-German agreement is designed for 10 years and Ukrzaliznitsya's management will remain in the hands of the Ukrainian state, while Deutsche Bahn will advise and support the Ukrainian company on infrastructure, mobile and transport projects. The Ukrainian government has vehemently denied that Ukrzaliznitsya would be handed over to Germany as Russian media claim. The Minister of Infrastructure, Vladislav Krikli, all but guaranteed that Ukrzaliznitsya will remain in state ownership with Ukrainian management when he said, quote, We're not talking about the transfer, concession, sale, privatization, or some other form of ownership. It's only about transferring the expertise and best practices that Deutsche Bahn has. Russian media claims that Ukraine's rail system is being broken up and handed up bit by bit are complete fakes. That's it for this week. You can find much more dissected disinformation on our website, stopfake.org. As always, be vigilant, look out for fakes, and if you spot any disinformation about Ukraine, forward it to us for a truth autopsy. I'm Marco Supran, and this is Stop Fake. Thanks for watching.